Hey everybody, welcome to Battle Brothers. I'm Jade Star, and today I'm going to make a first sort of intro video for the LP. This is just to show off the start of the game. Many people might not be familiar with it at all. Uh, and then for the actual start of the LP, we'll be restarting with a real squad. I'll rename people, and we'll pick up essentially right after where this uh, tutorial intro leads off. So, we are going to start a new company. Now, of course, I have a real... Uh, I have a real name planned out, but for this video, we will be the first post. And, man, that was a hell of a banner. Alright. Of course, I'll be paying on, playing on veteran starting funds. We're going to leave that alone. I will be uh, honorarily playing on Iron Man mode, but for the, for, uh, for the purposes of VLP, I'm going to be making redundant saves so I don't lose anything. There isn't a whole lot of story to Battle Brothers. It'll give us this little intro where our company is hunting down a brigand, and uh, our captain is about to get killed. We're the second in command, and we've just taken an arrow. And it'll give us a little tutorial. But after this, really, by the end of this first video, there's not really much plot to speak of. There's Captain Bernhard. And he's dead. That is unfortunate. Uh, so after this video, we're really on our own. Um, I just kind of want to show this off. I'll explain a lot of the mechanics of all of these things in posts. But for right now, it's, it's pretty obvious to see there's two brigands with daggers, and we have a man with a crossbow, a man with an axe, and a spear and shield. And that missed. That's not good. There we go. Got him a little bit. Whoa! No, no, leave my... Oh, that's bad. Leave him alone, please. Hoggart, in the meantime, is retreating. Point blank shot, come on. Nice. Do you have a melee weapon? You do. Cool. It's a really shitty knife, but it's something. Ow. Ah, uh, well, I got nicked by a knife a little bit. It'll be okay. Let's take his dagger. So we've won, but the company is devastated. Uh, however many men the company had before, it is down to four men. Us, who will never actually be physically represented on the battlefield, uh, and the three men we just commanded. So here is the world map. I really enjoy the world maps of the games. Very fjordy, I guess, or jetties. Actually kind of interrupts the, the flow of movement getting around. But it's it's a very nice world. And there's a whole lot of unexplored out there. So for now, here are our guys. Here's a terrible swamp. And there with the coin is the crown. Or the, the crown, the coin, whatever. The town that hired us. And we're going to go over there. Yeah, okay. I guess we're just gonna do that. There's a lot of these. Uh, these are gonna be in screenshot form uh, for the LP. But this is the closest you get to a story. Um, there is really no overarching story. Once we're done with this guy and the Hoggart the Weasel arc, uh, the story is what we make of it. Uh, who we choose to work for and what we choose to do. So we got paid for what we just did, but he wants Hugger, the Bergen leader, killed, and so let's go kill him, and he'll pay us again for that. But we've lost a lot of men, so the guy suggests that we go to Burkhaven. To go look for new recruits. That is less impressive than I was hoping for. So the quality of cities matter. See, like, a big city like Fitterstadt or whatever uh, would have a lot more men and probably of higher quality uh, than what we're dealing with. This is a tiny little shit fishing port. 
Oh, it's just some hovels and fishing huts. Burkhaven's not a whole lot better, but at least it's something. And we're just going to ignore the road, apparently. All right. Uh, it's just tutorial messages telling you how to interact with towns. Oh, see, why why didn't I go to Wolfstein? Wolfenstein. Really? Castle Wolfenstein? Now that place has got a blast furnace, ore smelters, a guard post. We could probably pick up some good recruits there, but we'll work with what we get. What do we got here? A killer on the run. Okay. Flagellant. That's interesting. A couple of monks. Oh, here we are. A cell sword. A right proper fighter. Already equipped in armor, a helmet, and carrying a mace. He is more expensive than we can afford by a lot. And then Vander, a grave digger. Wow, I do not have good choices here. <sighs> well, let's hire a grave digger. Uh, the killer on the run. He's probably used to fighting. Monks? A flagellant? Really? No. No thanks. Uh, let's equip our new brothers with... Oh my god, really? Okay, well, let's grab a spear, something resembling a shield. Oh, this is, this is bad. This is complete crap. You're stupid. Scarf. A real weapon or two? Okay. Well, this isn't great. Uh, starting equipment. But, uh, we'll make do. Oh, you actually want me to recruit? Okay, fine. Um, I guess we're getting a monk. Dear God. Can I get some... armor? Like a thick tunic's the best I can do? Really? Okay. And a weapon? No. There you go, have a dagger and a hat. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Well, we've got more men. Um, I'm not super confident about this. So, he is, uh... So he's tortured a guy and figured out where the, the brigand is. Great. Can I get some men here? Fisherman. A peddler. A beggar. Oh, Christ. Okay, militia spear and a buckler. That's good. I still have a bunch of money left, actually. Alright, so what we don't have in quality, we may be able to make up for in quantity. Okay, that's good, that's good. She's got some weapons here. No more shields, though. And people without shields tend to die. It's alright. We'll get these fishermen. And this beggar. <laughs> alright. We've got quantity. I need weapons. You guys don't even have weapons. Oh, Jesus. Okay, no, it's okay. I got axes and hoods and maybe some clothes. Oh, 
Oh, did I actually not need the stupid hood? No, I totally do. Okay, well, this isn't ideal, but we've got nine guys. Um, you know, like, one shield and three... Bu oh, this is... Ah, uh, okay. It's okay. Oh, wait, there's fishing nets here. Okay, guys that don't have shields. How many? Okay, you can't even have a shield, but. Do, 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 do. I can buy one for Olaf. Okay, that's. This is. This is just improvising. Um. I'll have a look at all these later in text. Let's just, uh. Let's do what we're here for. Where's the, the bandit camp? There it is. You never have to search for objectives, thankfully. They will always mark them on the map. I'm just gonna go track across these mountains. Oh, we found a dagger den. Uh, fortified wooden encampment by outlaws and many brigand raiders and a brigand leader. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ignore that and uh, not die there. So we have a few brigand thugs and a brigand poacher. So if you ever played Heroes of Might and Magic, this is kind of like how you get told the enemy size and strength. Thugs are not a big deal. Thugs are basically as well equipped as we are at this point. Raiders you can expect to find in chain mail and carrying real weapons. Okay, well, it's nine on five, so we have an advantage. So let us approach cautiously. Oh, there's Hoggart. Unfortunately, they are on a bit of a hill. And high ground definitely matters in this game. There's a big advantage to being on the high ground. And that's why I was worried about not having shields. Are you guys not going to come forward? Alright. Guys with axes are dangerous. And well, if axes hit, they hurt. If they don't hit, it's all right. Let's see, axes in six turns. I'm gonna wait for this. Oh, they—they're coming to me. Okay. So, uh, fisherman nets. Whoop! Not in range. Hold on. How much time does that take? Five AP. So I'm gonna move. I'm going to throw a net on him. And while he's netted, I'm going to stab him. Ah, or not. God damn it, really, guys? Oof. Dangerous. He failed to break out. Nice. And then I'm going to throw a net on this guy. Oh, that looked painful. Oh, whoops. So, I provoked an attack of opportunity there, because I'm dumb. Ow. Fucking... Archers. Uh, if you're next to an enemy, don't move away or past them. Uh, they'll get to attack you for it. I forgot for a moment. I, for some reason, thought he was not going to do that. But, uh, let's kill these guys while they're in nets. Ow. Ooh, Hoggart. Yeah, okay. Um... Oh, wait a minute. How far can I throw this? Two? Can I do this? Oh, I can net Hoggart. Or I can net the Archer. Probably Hoggart. It's more dangerous. 
Uh, it's worth noting that the uh, the nets are not renewable. Like every time you throw one, you have to buy a new one from a, uh, a marketplace. So I'm kind of blowing my load here for this, but um, might be necessary. Oh, nice, nice shot. Okay, if I can engage the archer in melee, he won't be able to hit me. Well, with arrows. Two to there, and then one. To... No, I can't get around and onto the high ground. So, Hoggard has a shield. That's actually making him surprisingly hard to hit, despite him being surrounded and in a net. Um, so let's get rid of that shield. It's one of the strengths of these axes, is that you can just smash their shields. Really? 43% chance to hit a guy tr surrounded in a net. Whoa! That was dangerous. Other strength of the axes is that they can make wild swings that can hit people around them, multiple people around them. That is dangerous. 39. There we go. Got him. Alright, so Hoggart has the repost skill, meaning any missed attacks he'll try to counterattack. But I have an 81% chance to hit him, so we should be okay. Ooh, nice hit. Alright, so we've surrounded him enough and wounded him enough that he's actually fleeing. Morale comes into effect in this game. Um, oh, good demonstration is that Olaf is breaking while Dietrich is confident. And if I could select them, uh, I could show you the different effects that has on them. Oh, here we are. Uh, here. Burkhardt is wavering, and it means negative 10% to a lot of his skills. That's, so morale is important. Well, Hoggard's dead. I'm not gonna use my archer, I'll just hit one of my own people. So, that went surprisingly well, thanks to the use of fisherman nets. <laughs> uh, Olaf almost died. You know, that's okay. He's just got, you know, pierced leg muscles and a pierced arm muscle. It's really not good. Hey, we got a falchion. Nice. So we get some supplies and things off of them. Nice. That'll come more into effect in the real game. I'm just kind of making this a one-shot uh, save file. So, mission accomplished. It's time to get paid. Time to go home. This is a tutorial message that uh, equipment has durability loss and we repair it uh, as we move. You can see my supplies slowly ticking away. It's just a thing. I'll get into it with the post. So, there we are. We took control of a mercenary company, just as our leader died. Fought to survive. Drafted a whole bunch of ridiculously underqualified peasants and fishermen and a monk for it. And then we got revenge on the brigand leader. And that is the start of Battle Brothers. Uh, next time I will have a save continuing from this point on, but the world map will be different. Uh, I'll take signups into account and I'll have everybody named properly. Um, so thank you for watching this first post. I'll see you guys in the LP proper.